for as long as we've had Buffalo, which is going back to 1972, the age-old question has always been from our visitors is, where are the Buffalo? We have a, uh, a pasture that they range on it's, uh, in the southeast corner of the park. It's about, it's just slightly over 200 acres of treed prairie. So they're not always easy to see. And often the disappointment is, you can drive all the way down there, get up into the lookout points and whatever else, and they can't see the Buffalo. What they'll see is they'll see an overview of the whole uh, of the whole area where the bison range is and there will be an outline that will show the, the the perimeter of the corral and then there will be as you zoom out white dots with with identifiers for each of the each of the animals. So each of the tags is is identified with their stock tag that we put on them. As far as for the public they'll have a quick access to uh, a visual that will give them at least some idea as to what the animals are doing. I participated in a, a research project a few years ago where we tagged bison and cattle herds in southwest Saskatchewan and we wanted to see their response to certain management activities and in that case it was largely prescribed burning and how the animals responded to the grass that grew back, the forage that grew back uh, following pres prescribed burning. So if we would do a small prescribed burn in the bison paddock, that grass that grows back is more palatable and more nutritious and the bison seek that out to meet their dietary, dietary requirements. And we can, you know, in real, near real time, see where the bison are moving, but we can also go back in time to see where they've been. And that evidence, I can, I can determine statistically where those animals spend more of their time relative to other areas, and we can, we can compare that to the habitat types, to the disturbances we've created out there for them, um, and, and come up with a, a statistically robust answer to where the animals have been um, have been grazing uh, to meet again to meet their dietary needs. They've always been an integral part of the park, but maybe not something we've heralded as well or promoted as well. I personally want to see more groups come out, school groups come out, and and learn more about the about the herd and tie that into a lot of what they do to increase the opportunity to see the animals, which would then increase the interest in understanding them.